Whoa! So that's what happens. I just gonna just trip. Oh yeah, watch a step up. Watch. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks for looking out. Down. Don't, don't bring me 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 down. Don't, don't. Good morning YouTube, Paul Greenberg here from Keller Williams and I'm back at it again with another full day in the life vlog. It feels like I haven't filmed one of these in a while, so we're just going to film all day today. It's about 7 in the morning, today is jam packed, Brooklyn's about to get picked up by Nicole. I got invited to speak at a mastermind, it's a video mastermind with a bunch of top producing agents at Keller Williams. People use video as marketing and they know I do this vlog life. They know I live the vlog life. So they invited me to come speak, which is super awesome. So I'm gonna bring you along to there. Then I gotta go to the camera store, upgrade the mic that's on top of this camera, get something a bit better because this one just hasn't been performing well. Then I'm gonna hit the gym with Simon. I don't think I'm gonna film it because in a couple of vlogs, I got something very special planned. I'm gonna save the workout edit for that. So you're gonna to have to stay tuned to watch me look like a potato in the gym. Anyways, let's get this day started. I need to go grab some coffee. Then I'm just gonna get into the car while I'm gonna shower. Cause this just, this isn't working for me. So we'll see you in a few. And thanks for watching, seriously. Thank you. Dropping bombs and cups of coffee. You said it hit you all at once. Tired and it's the morning Then you be your throat Lay down, I know that this is done And I'm here all right guys, so I just got to Keller Williams head office. I'm about to hop into this top producers video mastermind. It's all about us video creators who are using video to kind of boost up our business. Kind of why I'm doing this YouTube thing, among other things. So I'm gonna discuss with other agents that are doing it. They're doing it well. So I'm gonna bring you inside, show you what's up. And yeah, let's go, let's go talk some video. Let's go show these people about this vlog life because they don't know this vlog life. They don't know it. How's everyone doing? We on camera? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are, except my glasses are blocking. <laughs> what's going on, guys? What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? That has one that does, um, that has the call to action. You know how, like, Gary, he puts bars on the handle? Yeah. Like, that's what it does. 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 So I get to pick which one? Yeah, you might pick which one I have it all. So you found everybody's videos out there. Is that what the tabs are? Sure did. Uh, which it all like it's so my my stuff's kind of kind of different because I do the daily vlogging stuff, but I also do like I started how this all kind of started. Should we pick a video first, or do you want me to kind of? Sure, let's put a video. Uh, uh, let's do. I had to say goodbye. The I had to say goodbye. Ooh. Day in the life. Okay. Yeah. I don't think the audio is the best here, but... It's fine. This is weird. I've never, like, watched my vlogs with <laughs> people. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube? Look at me now. We're going to start the vlogs different ways. Anyways, we're going to get this vlog started. I am on my way to a purchase visit. Horrible vlogger. Um, <laughs> yeah, so they were, they were about two to three minute videos just about, you know, what I thought people wanted to, to hear about, whether it was like prepping your house for the spring market, how to win a multiple offers, that kind of stuff. And I, by the end, I think by like, I think it was like 20 weeks in, I hated it. I hated doing it, but I'm all about consistently putting out content. Uh, before I was in real estate, I was in the music industry, so I used to play and tour in bands. And I was in charge of social media for all my bands. Um, so I always just knew that, you know, constantly putting out content and just being relevant and coming across as an expert is just, it's going to benefit you. And even if you don't know what you're talking about, looking like you know what you're talking about is, has always been huge. Um, so then I, I, I got really into YouTube and, um, it's funny because a lot of, I think, vloggers, when they start, they, they watch the Gary V's, the, the Casey Neistat's. What got me into YouTube was fitness YouTube. So 
I, YouTube is such a huge spectrum. Like I've got buddies who would like watching like treasure hunts on YouTube. Someone like my best, one of my best friends loves fishing YouTube. Like it's just such a broad thing. And I, I didn't really see anyone doing real estate daily vlogging. Like some people will kind of do some real estate stuff. So uh, I just, I researched vloggers like crazy from like the Vine stars who turn vloggers like the Logan Pauls, the Jake Pauls, those guys to the Casey Neistat's, the Gary V's to the fitness stuff kind of took what was working with them and tried to put it into, I guess, my stuff. And my first couple of vlogs were horrible. Uh, I've upgraded my gear like three times since I, since I started, but uh, I don't, I don't just want to do real estate. That's not, that's not something that is, I'm not using my vlog to get myself real estate clients directly. If it gets me real estate clients because I'm consistently putting out content, sure. But I wanted to A, get myself better on camera to potentially lead to hosting gigs or, or whatever it is. But it just, it's also like, I'm a creative person. And when I stopped touring, I sold all my gear because I would have ended up on the road again. Um, and I had no, I had no creative outlet, zero creative outlet. So for me, I get storyboard. Like my favorite part about vlogging, I, I hate filming. Like me, like feeling like okay, I got to film today. I hate it. My favorite part's editing and putting together and piecing together the vlog and using different memes and and getting creative in that way. That's what I really like to do. So. Uh, but I don't just do real estate stuff like I've done like food challenges. I did a 10,000 calorie challenge, uh, which I failed on purpose. Uh, I'm doing, I'm about to hit 100,000 views on YouTube, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I'm attempting to eat 100 chicken McNuggets, which we're going to film in I think in like three weeks. Those videos do the best for me. Oh, we're going to do like a challenge today, man. <laughs> I was ready. I, I, I could have, I could have. But uh, yeah, so those, those videos like my 10,000 K challenge, I think uh, has 23,000 views. Um, my viewership is random, like I have a ton of viewers in like Thailand and like the Netherlands is where the, because you can check your demographics and stuff, so like the Netherlands love me for some reason, <laughs> so maybe I'll move over there and start selling some real estate, but uh, yeah, I just like, I just enjoy doing it, it keeps my, my brain going and... Uh, so where do you, where do you, um, so how long does it take, you start off the how long does it take? By September I want to be doing two videos a week, I want to do up, I want to upload twice a week and then three times a week, and I think three times is a good amount. Doing the daily, like I know when Casey was doing it, and like it's 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 tough, and that dude has a crew of people. Like it is, you're filming, you're going home, you're editing, you're uploading, you're filming, you're going home, you're editing, you're uploading, and then when you have, you know, do you guys know who Casey next is? Like my first couple of vlogs, like they're so cringe. Like me watching them, they're just they're just so bad. So like, but it gets better over time, and now like I don't I don't mind it. So it's just like you know. You just pick what's good and just go with it. Thank you. Yeah, no worries. Sorry for um, rambling. No, it's good. Um, Sebastian. In my office, I'm like, oh my god, these guys found me online. My my videos are starting to work. It's the first one, and I, I am hoping that there's going to be more. So, I'm sitting in my office. I'm getting prepared with all the paperwork. And and the receptionist called me. She says, uh, there's some people up here to see you. So I walk from the back and it's like this long hallway into the front uh, reception area and I'm walking in and I turn the corner and I see this young couple sitting there. And I walk up to them, now I'm about 10, 15 feet away from them, they both get up and big grins on their face and, and this guy goes to, to his, uh, his wife, yeah they're newly married, he goes, hey, that's him, that's him. And, I'm, and I thought they were pointing somebody behind me and I'm like, who are you pointing to? They're like, that's him, that's him. And it was like they knew me. and and. In that moment, I knew video was the way I was going to do it, so I brought him to the back. Why we decided, uh, I guess one of the main concepts, concepts with the business of the week, which is the video we started with, um, was trying to look at, I think as realtors and just human beings as general, like in general, we're always trying to chase the like instant gratification um, high that, hey, I, I got this now, but what does it really do for you six months from now? Um, the brilliance, just to kind of like get to the punchline of the business of the week is yes, we have videos and you can see we don't really use YouTube, we put it on YouTube, but that's not our main driver. We get like 5,000 views, some videos get 10,000 views on Facebook. Um, we're putting it on YouTube for the searchability. Um, we're kind of going off the philosophy that as a real estate agent, you're a connector. 
Like everybody in this room probably gets calls from everybody they know or complete strangers. Who do you know for this, right? What business of the week allows us to do is easily tap into the idea of becoming like a yellow pages. And now it's like, okay, well, I, I, I write it the day before and then the morning of, I kind of like right before I have to do the line, I kind of like read it and I just do it. Like it's more natural. Or when I do like Facebook live videos, it's just more, it's more natural for me to actually like script something and to make a video and to do all that, it's kind of like tough. So back in the beginning of the year, uh, after I kind of like set up the foundation more or less for the team, I said to myself, okay, well, I got to get into video. So the first step was to do the property videos. Then after that, I'm like, you know what? I actually got to start getting into other videos. So I, I, I was really, really busy with like the whole foundation of the team and everything. So I'm like, I, I, I invested a ton of time in, in like setup, camera setup, microphone setup, lighting setup. That's actually how I talked to Lori for the first time. I actually reached out to her because I was a big admirer of the videos that she was doing. And I'm like, you know what? What kind of lighting is she using? That because ring like, light, man. Yeah, that ring light. Yeah, like, so good. It's fantastic. I'm like, I got to know what she's using. Basically, right? the way this, all this, how this all came about is like, I come from like a um, photography background, right? Like if you watch me on Instagram or whatever, you'll see that I like to post on Instagram and stuff, right? And then, so I went out and bought, I think Instagram inspired me to get back into photography because photography was my first love. And then I went into real estate and I'm like, okay, how do I bring photography back into this back into existence right so that's instagram brought this about and i'm like okay we buy all this camera equipment just like what you did yeah. right got me re-inspired to buy all this stuff and then one day i was waiting for a, i had it in my car one day i was waiting for a client to uh show up and i'm like yo i got this camera here <laughs> i literally set it up on the dashboard it was it was hanging off of the dashboard and and on the gear shift like mounted like that like really ridiculous i can't do the driving thing either and i just started talking about the experience that this client had right and it came out kind of natural to me to just talk about the experience and what her hang-ups were in purchasing real estate and stuff like that so i said okay let me continue trying to do this um obviously I haven't done it too much but my whole thing is to always uh talk have a story talk about a client's experience talk about a hang-up that they had a hurdle that they had to overcome or anything like that and then put it out there because i know a lot of other people especially in my fear if my sphere have the same the same issue closes on friday yes <laughs> and you told your wife yeah okay <laughs> so that was a video too right yeah no it was great um uh, so i don't so i look at my video strategy as like there's two different things there's one is production based stuff which i don't do a lot of that's more like listing videos and that's because I have a standard with my clients, this is what I do, and we're gonna make sure that we look after you and market your property. But then there's, on the way to this meet, if I was late for this meet, if I was ready for this meeting and I had time to kill, I would have probably shot a video of me saying something based on the drive here or what I heard about last night, and I've done my video content for the next couple of days. It's just a, it's me talking about something to people that I already know uh, on Facebook mm -hmm. or Instagram. Um, I don't really, my whole business model is all repeat and referral. It's not looking for buying leads or, or trying to generate leads outside of that. It hasn't gone that way yet. Um, and I've got two people on my, on my team that essentially handle all of the business for all of our buyer leads that come from this, from my network. I can script out something in five, 10 minutes and I can memorize it. And I only do one take, like I do one seamless take. I will not. Um, I cannot have a jump cut in my stuff. Have I, you always been like that? Or does that just come from your background? Like just I don't know, because I was always behind the scenes. Stuff. I was the person that would tell Ben Mulroney what to say yeah. if we were out on a shoot. Um, or ask questions if I'm interviewing people on a red carpet. Mm -hmm. So, um, I know, how to, I know how to do a lot of things. Like I find real estate to be extremely slow, just because I feel like when you're out in the field and you're doing a bunch of different things, this is very, very slow. So I think that's why I decided to be creative and to get into doing video. And um, 
Yeah, so. Okay, so it's going back and forth. Uh, but easy. You guys have a good time? I did. Did you have a good time? It was awesome, man. Are we on camera? I learned a lot. <laughs> We're gonna go shoot my thumbnail right now. We're zoomed in. That's much better. We're gonna go shoot a thumbnail. Well, he's got his Sony. So he's gonna shoot me outside. Get a thumbnail for this video. I had a good time. It was uh, really informative talking with other creators and just getting some ideas for video. Now I gotta go head to a camera store and get a new microphone because this mic has been causing me problems. So I'm gonna get in the car. We're, first we're gonna shoot that thumbnail. Then I'm gonna get in the car and we're gonna get going. I'm gonna hit the gym. Maybe Simon will join me. I don't have any clients to meet today like I said, but we're just gonna make the best of it. We're gonna get that content out there showing these guys this vlog life. Yeah. Cut up to, so it's an Insta story. If you go on Facebook, the full, full let me go on Facebook. It was there. I just looked. You didn't. You went into my no, Facebook. I didn't look. <laughs> I feel like we're talking to our phones, or even though we're side by side. I know. It's hey, Roy, what are you doing later on? It's the generation. Man. <laughs> That's how we do things. We're all just in our technology. I really hope I brought an extra battery because I don't know if I did, but it's cool. What are you looking at? Is this yours? You did this? Yeah. Look at that B-roll! <laughs> that is awesome. Yeah, you're editing on Premiere. I can just tell. <laughs> <laughs> and then it'll we'll just, at the end... <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> that was one of Rory's ads. So good. He's so good. His quality is top notch. That's beautiful. That's like that's like a Casey Nash that video right there. <laughs> Take care, guys. Thank you. I'm just gonna. He's gonna shoot my thumbnail. <laughs> yeah, it was super super good. Super good. Is it raining? You walk around with the camera all day. That's oh. what I do, man. I'm a vlogger. <laughs> you wouldn't know this vlog life, dude. Did you just labors and labors and all that? You wouldn't know this vlog life. <laughs> Whoa. So that's what happens. I just get a just trip. Oh yeah, watch a step up. Watch. Thanks, man. <laughs> Thanks for looking out. A few moments later. Just about to head into the DV shop. It's I'm done last bus. It's a wicked, wicked, awesome camera shop. Gonna grab a new mic, lens hood, maybe some other stuff. Uh, can try out a couple different mics because I really really don't like this one so let's get inside so I feel it distorts quite a bit too so maybe it's just an issue it was a uh, maybe it's just an issue with the actual mic rather than like the one and not the uh, right not the right yeah <laughs> so what are you thinking okay all right so mission accomplished got a new mic didn't film well he was he just didn't feel comfortable being on camera which is cool but i highly 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 recommend the dv shop they are so awesome it's dundas west in toronto but um Yes, I got a new mic, got a couple other things, got some good deals, because they're awesome here. I much prefer the smaller mom and pop shops. But let's go through what I got. I'm just gonna throw the camera on the hood of my car. All right, so, got a new mic. Got the Rode Mic Pro. It's a much better upgrade from the one that's on my camera right now. Hopefully you'll be able to hear the difference. I'm gonna throw it all when I get into the car. Got a free, it's called the Dead Cat. When it's windy, you put this on the mic. It's awesome. Got something for my Osmo, a stand for that. Just got a whole bunch of different stuff. I'm gonna throw the mic on. I wanna do a sound check. So, the next clip will be the new mic. We're gonna see if it sounds better. All right, so the new microphone is on the camera. Hopefully this sounds better. I'm gonna do a test after I finish this clip. So that mission is accomplished. New Year is always fun. Didn't spend that much actually. It was a lot cheaper than I thought it was going to be, which is great because it's a huge upgrade. And sometimes you just got to invest in yourself and in your channel. And I get that. Um, I'm going to grab some food. I'm going to hit the gym. 
I'm gonna head home. Got a package waiting for me. I don't think it's her me. I think it's her Brooklyn. So it's her lucky day. But yeah. This vlog has been a little uneventful. No clients, no craziness. Just uh, we learned a lot. I don't know how much of the uh, mastermind I'm going to put in, but it was actually really cool that I got invited to uh, to that mastermind. It was really cool that I got invited to that mastermind. It's uh, it's always nice to be recognized for uh, that kind of stuff. I'm gonna hit the road, get some food. See you soon. What's going on, YouTube? So I'm not gonna lie. Since I got home, I've just been chilling. I didn't do much today, but it's, it's just been exhausting. I'm just, I barely slept last night. I slept for maybe an hour and a half. I don't know what's going on. I just can't sleep. I gotta get that sleep schedule on track. Anyways, I just ordered some sushi. I know I said I was gonna cook some steaks or something, but it started to rain, so I was like, screw it. Let's just get delivery. So Fudora's coming to drop off some sushi. It should be here in about 20 minutes. So I'm just gonna chill, watch some YouTube. Brooklyn gets dropped off in about an hour. She's been with Nicole all day, so I can't wait to see her. I'm gonna eat the sushi. Hey, awesome, thanks so much, man. Right, Alright, sushi just got dropped off. Gonna get this all ready to go. Gotta eat it quick, because Brooklyn's getting dropped off soon. So, let's go eat some food. So we got some steak teriyaki. Some vegetable tempura, some spicy tuna roll. I think that's a California roll. I didn't order that. I don't know why it's in my thing. So I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna watch some of my stories on the television. Have you guys seen Ozark on Netflix? Watch it. Ozark is amazing. I've already watched the whole season, blew through it in about two days. It is fantastic. I've got some other stories to watch though. I'm gonna watch that, I'm gonna smash this. As they say in the YouTube world, I got like a second wind. I was low energy this whole vlog. Uh, so I'm gonna eat this. Brooklyn's coming in just a bit. I don't want you to watch me eat. Cause trust me, in a couple videos, I'm gonna be eating a lot. I don't wanna tell you what I'm doing. Lacking I thought of it, it's gonna be crazy. I would say three weeks. So let's not watch me eat now, wait till it then. Wait till it then. Let's not watch me eat now, wait till then. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat so much food. I'm gonna eat this, I'll check with you guys back in a bit. You could go. You could. Afraid of the camera at first. Yeah. <laughs> you okay? How was she? How was she, was she today? Good. She was good. Same old. Drags me to go play fetch, that's for sure. Good girl? Where are you going? I haven't fetched this twice and it's completely beat. Well, <laughs> just twice you're lucky. Has she been itching her eye at all? No. It's so weird. Yeah. You're so pretty. Brad, you're so pretty. Yeah. It's really nice. Yeah. All right. So, I'm back. I subscribe to something called BarkBox. I don't know if you guys have heard of BarkBox. I'm gonna put the link in the description. Essentially, every single month, Brooklyn gets a box full of treats, toys, awesome stuff. If you guys want to sign up for BarkBox, shoot me a message and I will send you a discount code and uh, you can save some money. Brooks, do you want? Do you want this? Watch how excited she gets. You ready? What's, what's in here? What's in here? What's in here? <laughs> All right, let's look what we got. We got a nice little handwritten note. A Tweedle Dawn toy. Whoa. What? No? We got some soft baked beef and potato. The beef and potato treats. Beef and potato treats. What? Amazing. Oh, I know she's going to like these. She's got lamb jerky. Lamb jerky. Lamb jerky. Lamb jerky. Oh, and a little another sweet toy because we don't have enough toys. And last but not least, a chew. All right, I'm gonna, so remember, bark box. All right, so I'm going to wrap up this vlog here. Thanks so much for watching, guys. It really, really means the world to me. You could have been doing anything, but you chose to watch some of my vlogs. That's absolutely awesome. Uh, so if you can, please smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Hit that alert button so you know when I upload. And don't forget to comment. Let's talk. Let's see what you like. Let's see what you didn't like. You like Brooklyn? Want to see more of this girl? Anyway, she wants some of these treats. 
So I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great night, and we will be talking soon. I would throw this at the lens, but I don't want it to. I want to break it. What should we do? This. Whoop. 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 Down. Don't. Don't bring me down. Don't. Don't bring me down.